These Things Shall Never Die by Charles Dickens, 1812 to 1870. The pure, the bright, the beautiful that stirred our hearts in youth, the impulses to wordless prayer, the streams of love and truth, the longing after something lost, the spirit's yearning, the striving after better hopes, these things can never die. The timid hand stretched forth to aid a brother in his need, a kindly word in grief's dark hour that proves a friend indeed. The plea for mercy softly breathed when justice threatens high, the sorrow of a contrite heart, these things shall never die. Let nothing pass, for every hand must find some work to do. Lost not a chance to wake and love, be firm and just and true. So shall a light that cannot fade beam on thee from on high. The angel voices say to thee, these things shall never die. Okay, so this is by Charles Dickens, who was famous for his uh, books, uh, A Christmas Carol, or Nicholas Nickleby, or Bleak House, or things like that. And these used to be um, published in weekly installments in the newspapers. But he also wrote poetry. So... What's this po poem about? It's about eternal truths, things that that are true for all men, things that need uh, need to be everlasting. So the pure, the bright, the beautiful that stirred our hearts in youth. So the things that we thought were pure, the things that we thought were bright, the things that we thought were beautiful uh, when we were young, these things need to be eternal. The impulses to wordless prayer, where you are maybe wordless prayer, you're just amazed or you think, wow, God, that's incredible. The streams of love and truth. Okay, so love and truth, these are two things that should be eternal. The longing after something lost. So if you long after something, you really want it, yeah? You miss it because it's something you've lost. So, oh, I wish I had that back again. The spirit's yearning cry. So the spirit, your soul, desiring something, crying out because it really needs something. The striving after better hopes. So to strive is to work as, you, as hard as you can. So trying to achieve better things, trying to improve the world. These things can never die. So these things are eternal. These are good things, good characteristics in men. The timid hand stretched forth to aid a brother in his need. So this is talking about charity, and charity is something that uh, needs to be everlasting. There will always be people in need, and we should always give them charity. A kind word in grief's dark hour that proves a friend indeed. So being nice and talking gently and being kind to somebody who is in grief. Grief is great sadness. So in grief's dark hour, somebody who is very depressed uh, by a really sad situation, probably somebody has died. And that proves a friend indeed. So this kindly word helps that person. And that's something that uh, is eternal as well. The plea for mercy softly breathed when justice threatens high. Okay, so... Um, begging for mercy, please don't punish me. Yeah, a little voice begging for mercy, even though they know something's they've done something wrong. When uh, 
the justice system or even the uh, wrath of God is threatening them. The sorrow of a contrite heart. So if you feel contrite, you feel you say, oh, I wish I hadn't done that. I feel bad about doing it. So when you feel sad because you know something, something has done wrong, this is an in another eternal thing. Yeah, and this is something that shall that will never die. Let nothing pass, for every hand must find some work to do. Okay, this is talking about the Protestant work ethic that uh, work is good for your soul; it's good, good for you, and therefore don't leave things not leaving things undone finds things to do, find the things that need doing and do them. Lost not a chance to wake and love, be firm and just and true. Okay, so don't, don't lose an opportunity to kindle love, to create love between people or to love other people. And be firm, be resolute, don't change your mind, don't change your direction and be honest and just, justice, and true, tell the truth. So shall a light that cannot fade beam from thee on high, and like that the light of God will shine, will beam on you from the heavens above. So if, if you are firm with these ideas, then uh, you will see the light of God, and angel voices say to thee, these things shall never die. And the voices of angels will say, these things, these concepts are things that will never die. So these are the things that are pure and good and true. And these are the things we must strive for. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. These things shall never die by Charles Dickens.